Today I'm going to review a book that I find very interesting. This is called Speaking Being, and the subtitle is Werner Erhard, Martin Heidegger, and a New Possibility of Being. Here is the book. It's by authors Bruce Hyde and Drew Kopp, and with an afterword by Michael Zimmerman. By way of background, I have some familiarity with Heidegger because I studied him in undergraduate and graduate school, and I've subsequently read a lot of his works, and I've read a lot of secondary commentaries also. I took Werner Erhard's forum in 1986. I uh, participated in some other workshops of his, and I've followed his work closely over the years. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I I've been in the transformation training coaching business all of my professional life since I was a young man in my early 20s. And uh, here I am now in uh, my late 50s, I uh, hesitate to say. So about this book, uh, the, uh, the main organization of it is that it, it has a transcript of a training that Werner Erhard led, a forum, what he called the forum, uh, in 1989. Now, uh, as you'll see, he's not the only trainer uh, in this course. Uh, there's one or two others that uh, take over at, at various times. Um, but uh, Werner does a lot of it himself. Uh, and then interspersed throughout are uh, little commentaries by the authors uh, where they're um, bringing forth uh, some piece of Heideggerian philosophy and attempting to tie that to whatever Werner Erhard is talking about in the book or in his training. I personally found uh, the author's commentaries uh, somewhat tedious and, and not terribly convincing uh, as somebody who, uh, as I say, knows a little bit about Heidegger and a little bit about Werner Erhard's book. Uh, they, they, they try very hard and it's not to say they don't have some learned points uh, here or there, but uh, I, I found some of it uh, hard to follow and, and confusing and, and as I say, just not terribly convincing uh, in terms of the the connections they they try to make. I do really enjoy the transcript. Um, for those of you who don't know, the forum, at least at that time, and I think pretty much today, was uh, uh, a dialogue um, between the the trainer and the participants. So. Uh, it's four days. Uh, I think they've shifted that format to three days now, but uh, at the, in the 1989 version, it's four days, long days. And so what you get uh, are these exchanges where uh, usually Werner is uh, going on about uh, some distinction, and then he works with participants uh, and fields their questions or their objections or in some cases, their insights, and uh, and he works with them as as he sees fit. Now, um, there's one particular point or or point of emphasis that uh, that Werner Erhard makes uh, during this uh, this forum, and in this book that I found especially powerful, and it reminded me of something that. I had learned a long time ago, but but hadn't shown a light on in, in, in the intensity that, that he does. Uh, I don't have time to go into a great exegesis on it right now, but uh, basically uh, his, his point again and again and again is that wherever you are in your life in terms of your perspective on life, uh, the way life shows up to you, the way you show up in life, you, you're going to have to just own that and, and, and be with it and, and in, in a sense, accept it. Most of us spend most of our lives when we find something especially we don't like or 
we're embarrassed about or, or, or just it's, we find unattractive, we want to change it. We want to make it different or, or, or we try to bury it. Uh, and uh, Werner's point is that doesn't work. That doesn't work. You, you, you got to just face it, accept it. You know, this perspective, that's what you bring to the party. Whatever, whatever your perspective is that's been honed over many years, now it's become your way of seeing the world. And, and it, it, it's just, you can't escape it, really. Uh, you, you just, but, but you can own it as, as, you know, as your view. Um, now, I think ultimately he says uh, that, ironically, by owning this perspective, uh, that that you that you already are immersed in and and, and stop trying to change it uh, by facing it in that way you you actually do create an opening to not be limited by that perspective uh, that may or may not sound counterintuitive to you but uh, you'll get the full story believe it believe me in, in this book and, and that you know that brings me to the next piece that I, I really admire uh, he uh, he he really is is quite patient uh, and and steadfast and and just you know absolutely committed to uh, uh, to people getting what he's teaching uh, getting you know what 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 the distinction he's he's bringing to the party. Now this particular group, I think there was like seven hundred people in the room at the time, so you can imagine there's, there's a lot of stuff that comes up uh and so he's he's got to wade through um uh, some some obtuseness uh, uh from time to time but uh you know he's he, he just doesn't give up and, and and he just keeps going and going and going you can see by day four he, by the end of it he even says he, you know he's, he's way behind in, in in the you know the content of the course because he he had to take so much time working through whatever people weren't getting. Uh, but uh, as a fellow trainer, I admire that. And I know the value of that. And, and w when you do that and you, you, you don't give up, uh, it, 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 can, it, it eventually turns the tide. And, and, and you can see that that happens in this training. Uh, there's some quite a bit of resistance and almost hostility in, in day one of the training. Uh, and uh, Werner has his own way of dealing with it, uh, some of which I might want to emulate, some of which I, I might uh, choose differently. But uh, it, it works for him. And so you'll, you'll see the, 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 at least the, the full 1989 version of, of Werner Erhard uh, on display here. So um, for anybody interested in delivering transformation as a coach or a trainer, I do think this is valuable. Uh, I would personally steer clear of the, the, the commentaries the authors do, but, but the transcript itself, uh, quite useful. And um, even for people that are still explorers and, and searching for greater peace and uh, aliveness in, in their own life, uh, I think this could support you as well. So, happy reading.